Hello! Well, this video is going to be all about how humorless and stupid bastards are making the world worse for all of us. And it starts with Richard Ned Lebeau, a professor of international political theory at King's College London. One of my old stamping grounds, by the way. He was in a lift. For those of you who don't understand the English word for lift, here's a picture of one. He was in a lift with a group of other professors during a conference of the International Studies Association in San Francisco. One of those present in the lift was one Simona Sharoni. Professor Sharoni was shocked into speechlessness when she overheard the response by Professor Lebeau to a question asked by one of her fellow passengers who was about to operate the aforementioned lift. The question was, what floor do you want? And Lebeau responded, quick as a flash, ladies' lingerie. Professor Simone said nothing at the time, but it seems the comment rankled. A little while later, she made a complaint about the sexist joke. Simone is a professor of women's and gender studies at a college in Massachusetts. I shall not name it so as not to embarrass them. I was interested in how Professor Sharoni explained her distress about Professor Lebeau's faux pas in an email to the Chronicle of Higher Education. In my humble opinion, it revealed everything we need to know about her in this one humorless, intellectually lazy, trite and bigoted paragraph. For decades, women and other marginalised groups in the academy had to put up with white men who decided what counts as a violation and what is frivolous, Sharoni told the Chronicle. As someone who has dedicated her life to confronting sexism and other forms of discrimination and oppression in academic spaces, I cannot and will not remain silent when misogyny is at play. That comment, white men, is everything you need to know about someone who thinks a cheap shot answers her own inadequacy. As if men in any possible shade except white have never oppressed or belittled women. But it does show her mindset. She knew she could get maximum effect out of saying white men rather than just men. Apart from the fact that the whole nonsense is nonsense. Now, had I been in the lift, my first instinct upon hearing that quip about ladies' lingerie would probably have been to respond along the lines of your weird sexual proclivities are none of my business, Professor Lebeau, or something along that order. Now, it's quite possible that he was making an obvious reference to a past time and probably even to this particular television programme. Ah. 
which Professor Sharoni didn't know anything about. And for the benefit of you people outside the British Isles, it's a show called Are You Being Served? It was about a small family-run department store and revolved around the antics of a group of employees who worked on a floor which sold ladies' lingerie and men's suits. LeBeau is 76, so he might even remember the real thing when any department store worth going to had human lift operators who would recite a list of the items on sale on whatever floor uh, upon which the doors were currently opening. But even if Sharoni didn't know about that program, it's obvious it was a joke. And although it wasn't hilarious, it was definitely a reference to a different time, a different situation, and it wasn't all that bad. It wasn't a reference to anyone's underwear in particular. It wasn't really sexist or aggressive or nasty. And if Sharoni didn't like it, she should have returned with another joke. But apparently she doesn't have the wit for that. And just because she's annoyed with herself and, in her words, just froze, there's absolutely no need for her to take out her own feelings of inadequacy. Oh, and it's obvious she has much about which to feel inadequate on poor Professor LeBeau. Professor, ah, Professor Sharoni is an Israeli and I cannot understand her reticence. Israelis are famously rude. It just shows you that women's studies have now developed a weird effect on even the most robust of people, turning women into... <laughs> Joining the happy throng... The International Studies Association came down on her side and told Lebeau to suffer the consequences or apologise abjectly, which he refused to do, saying he has nothing to apologise for. Good for you, Professor Lebeau. If anyone watching this knows him, tell him I agree with him. And if anyone knows Professor, <coughs> uh, Professor Sharoni, tell her that she's a disgrace because... What she's done is made men just a bit more afraid of being natural around women. We'll all suffer because of her lack of basic wit. Develop a skin, woman, or a sense of humour, or possibly memorise a few put-downs, because the worst sexism isn't jokes about underwear. It's when men regard you as less because you're a woman, but don't say anything because they're devious enough to keep it to themselves. They're the real problem. And if you can't think of a quick quip to smack down any man who makes a joke you don't like, then you're not fit to be a professor because you should be faster on your mental feet than that. You give lectures, for God's sake. Don't you know anything about off-the-cuff remarks? No doubt Professor Lebeau will join the ranks of other eminent scientists who've contravened some unwritten, unexplained and inexplicable law of what men are allowed to say, do or wear. I'm thinking about Professor Matt Taylor, who wore a shirt that had cartoon women all over it as he delivered information about a truly stupendous scientific event, the landing of a spacecraft on a comet. Uh, this provoked a shirt storm of opprobrium set off by a bunch of complete tossers, I'm ashamed to say, most of them seem to be of the female variety, who probably couldn't hit the waste bar basket with the crumpled up remains of their last attempt at writing a proper scientific paper, let alone land a spacecraft the size of a rubbish bin sent on a journey of 6.4 billion miles to land on an object about four kilometres long, moving at about 135,000 kilometres an hour. Uh, but they could think of nothing more to do about this phenomenal achievement than make an issue of his shirt. Anyway, Professor Taylor apologised. The poor chap actually broke down in tears on camera, thereby getting absolution from some other female tosser, a journalist, 
<laughs> journalist who said she would forgive him because she'd seen him crying instead of saying for god's sake the damn things are shirt shut up everyone and watch the comet meanwhile you should know that professor sharoni is one of the editors of a book called handbook on gender and war i didn't know what it was about but i read the blurb this is part of it contributions from an international group of leading experts make use of a range of historical and contemporary examples to interrogate the multifaceted connection between gender and war you know what i still don't know what that book's about <laughs>